Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, welcome to my New York City apartment kitchen. Last week or two weeks ago, I don't know when it was, you saw my bathroom and now we're in my kitchen. I might as well just give a whole house tour at this point, but welcome. I know it's so luxurious and so big. Not really. Actually, it's kind of cute. I mean, I I'm happy with it. Listen, everything comes smaller in New York City and we make do, but I, I mean, I don't really cook in my kitchen, so it doesn't really matter anyways. I pretty much order Postmates like five times a day and that's my life. But the only thing I really do cook in my kitchen, I don't even know if this is really considered cooking, but to me it is. I make matcha lattes every single day of my life. Every morning, I cannot start work without my matcha latte. I don't drink coffee. I only drink tea. And I do the same kind of matcha latte every single day of my life. I have the Brad Mondo recipe going on. But today I wanted to try some new things. A couple of videos ago when I told you guys I drink a lot of matcha lattes, which I actually have always said, but a lot of people were recommending different kinds of recipes for matcha lattes and I was like, <laughs> Why don't I just research what the best matcha latte recipes are? And I did. And I found five different recipes, including my own, that are the best matcha latte recipes out there. And we're gonna taste test all five different recipes today and figure out which matcha latte is the best matcha latte. And if you're asking, what is matcha, Brad? I never heard of such a thing. Well, I'm glad you asked, and I'm glad I just watched a video of this young lady talking about what matcha is, because I had no idea. It's kind of like a tea, but you don't brew it like a tea. You're actually consuming the whole leaf, which is ground up, and they're grown in the shade. So when they are grown in the shade, they develop something called chlorophyll, which is really good for you, and it gives you this, like, stabilizing, calm feeling, but at the same time, the matcha also has caffeine, so it keeps you kind of alert. And listen, that's perfect for me because I needed an alternative for coffee, and that is when I found Miss Matcha Latte. And now I do follow a plant-based diet, and I do not drink animal milk, so all the recipes today will be vegan, woo! And all the matcha lattes today will be hot matcha lattes because it's cold here, and I like my warmth. You can also put them over ice if you really want to, but like, what's the fun of that? No, actually they're really good over ice. You can try that too. And they're all very easy recipes, kind of. So should we just like make them now, I guess? Is that what I do here? I feel like I've never been on a cooking show before. Oh wait, <laughs> there was that one time. Add, um, we're gonna add some garlic. Okay, I already. <laughs> oh, you're doing well. Okay, not you're not horrible. <laughs> that was the worst encouragement I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, work on that. <laughs> so why don't we just do it? Let's start making some matcha lattes. Woo! I'll see you later. And I'm back. Hey, first up, the first matcha latte we're making today is Grad Mondo's Wild Matcha Latte. Can I get an amen? And an applause. Okay. Now this one is the most simple of all the matcha lattes we're making today. However, it is my go-to every morning matcha latte because it is easy. It takes five minutes and it's easy. Let's make it. Basically, what you do, you take one cup of oat milk. Everybody loves oat milk. I mean, come on. I use Califia Oat Milk Barista Blend because it foams nicely. At least that's what they tell me it does. So I listen. Let's look at here <laughs> and let's do a cup. Perfect. Or you can just fill your mug with oat milk and then pour it into the pan. So let's put this back in the fridge, okay? A pan, a stove, oat milk goes in the pan. And you didn't see that because I was blocking your view, but I just put it in the pan. We turn the stove on and we bring it to a simmer and then we work on the next step. Now we grab our cup, our mug, a great little gray mug like this. These are... These are great mugs. <laughs> we have our matcha jar. This was a <laughs> some kind of sample container I got for Ex Mondo, and I turned it into a matcha container because I thought it was better used in that way. And it works great. I have a one ta half a tablespoon spoon in here, okay? And I go like this. I do two of them, which makes one teaspoon of matcha. 
Now, <laughs> if this is your first time drinking matcha, don't do that much. Now, we're gonna come back to here. I do a lot of matcha. It's not necessary to do that much. Do half of it to start, work your way up. Believe me, you'll want more and more and more and more and more if you haven't drank it before. That's simmering, so we're gonna shut that off real quick. And now, you guys, we're almost ready to finish off the first latte. We take the milk, we pour the milk into the mug with the matcha. And now we take this handy whisk that I bought off Amazon and it's called Aero Latte and it's the high tech way of making a matcha latte. It like spins. We just matcha latte it. <laughs> we just blend it all together, okay? <laughs> and it creates a beautiful, creamy, milky, veganism type of mixture of matcha and latte and milky and it's really good. And that's that. I mean, that was easy. Am I right? <laughs> and this will be Number one, okay? Oh, I feel like I'm on the Great British Baking Show and I just nailed that recipe and hopefully the judges like it as much as I do. But they never actually do like it as much as you think it's good. And next we have Coconut Matcha Me Crazy Latte. Yes, I did make up these names myself and I'm extremely proud of them. I should basically open a matcha latte brewery. Our ingredients are a half a cup of canned coconut milk, a half a cup of macadamia, not milk, maple syrup, matcha powder. Oh, by the way, you guys, I didn't tell you. I use Jade Leaf Matcha. You can find it on Amazon. It'll be linked below for you if you want to purchase it. That is one I use. That's one I really like. And it's natural and amazing and so good. Not sponsored, but you know, it's linked below for you. So let's get our canned things. Boom and boom. So now that we have these two, so we do a half a cup of our coconut milk. Half a cup, coconut milk. A half a cup of macadamia milk. Make sure you, you know, you gotta shake everything real good. Okay. And then you make a little one cup baby, both of them together. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, let's put this back in the fridge. And that's back in the fridge, just like that. We are gonna bring this to a simmer, like we just did. Ooh, this is a thick one, girl. <laughs> you guys know I like it a little thick, you know what I mean? Ugh. <laughs> now we gotta prepare the matcha, and this time we're doing it the proper way, because this is how you really do it. This is how you're really supposed to make matcha. So you take a bowl, now we take our matcha powder. I'm gonna do like one and a half tablespoons, teaspoons. Is this a teaspoon? Sorry, when I said before I use a tablespoon, I actually meant I use a teaspoon. Now, I'm doing a half a teaspoon. One and a half for this one, okay? Great. Oops. <laughs> um, almost had it, but I didn't quite, you know what I mean? So we then grab our cauldron of hot water, also called a kettle. Is that what they're called? Kettles? Water kettle? It's a kettle. Jesus. I would have been so embarrassed. Okay, so we now grab our kettle, which we now know is called a kettle, and we do, we really just, just do a little bit, you know, honestly, just put like the tiniest bit in. It should be like warm water, not necessarily hot, hot. So that's been sitting on there for a little while. But now we mix this together with our beautiful bamboo matcha latte mixer, which I'll also try and link below for you. You just do it until it's nice and gone. You can do little eight motions, you can do little, little cute things until it's just all in there. There, girl. It's looking really good. I'm excited. <laughs> now our matcha looks like that. Wow, I'm kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> I see you, Brad. <laughs> and now we're gonna also need maple syrup, okay? I'm using 365 organic grade A maple syrup. Basically maple syrup that costs way too much from Whole Foods because I don't know, I don't know. Now let's wait for the milk to boil. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I got all day for you to boil. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Boil. Boil. Boom, are you boiling yet? Nope. Ah! <laughs> are you boiling yet? Nope. How about now? Nope. Actually, it's supposed to come to a simmer, not a boil, so joke's on me. Ha 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 ha. I hear a simmer. <laughs> I'm taking it off the stove. <laughs> oh. All right, we're ready now. So I'm gonna put this in the bowl, but you can actually mix it in the cup if you'd like to. But I'm gonna go like this and just make my life a little bit harder. Okay, so that is in our bowl. Now we're taking our bamboo whisk again. We're gonna whisk those two things together and oh my God, does it smell good. 
And now you can like do a little whisk moment where you like make it like froth a little bit. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I dropped the whisk. What do you think they make these bamboo whisks? Like they're pretty legit. And it's actually a <laughs> piece of bamboo. What? Who's sitting around making bamboo whisks? I wanna know. Okay, now we can put this into our mug and get it everywhere at the same time. Well, that didn't quite make enough, but oh well. And lastly, we just add a dash of maple syrup into this mixture and boom, that's mapled. <laughs> we'll take a little spoony spoon and we'll do a little mixy mix or a little forky fork. And boy, does that smell delicious. <laughs> okay. I'm ready for my judgment. Oh my God, we're making progress. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have to do number three. We are gonna do you vanilla matcha latte. Like get it, like your vanilla. Ooh. All right, In ingredients, we have cashew milk, vanilla bean powder, coconut sugar, or stevia. Now we bring one cup of cashew milk to a simmer. This, it, this is a repeating little thing going on now. There's a few different ingredients. We're gonna now, like we're gonna bring, we're, we're gonna get the cashew milk out. All right. And always make sure you shake it. We have the cashew milk. We are now doing one cup. Oh, look at this. Looking from behind over here. Oh, <laughs> that's one cup. And let's put it on the stove for another little moment. Boom. Okay, so now this is the important part. Once the cashew milk comes to a simmer, we're then gonna add one fourth of a teaspoon of stevia and one fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. And if that doesn't sound good, I don't know where you're from. I'm just kidding, I actually don't like sweet things that much. I actually prefer unsweetened stuff, but today we're making some sacrifices, all right? <sighs> I gotta roll up these sleeves, man. It's getting hot in here. Whew. Definitely need a little tan too. Ooh. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay. All right, why don't we get the? Why don't we get something prepared while we're waiting, huh? Uh, oh, we can actually make the matcha again. We just did it two seconds ago, but I'm gonna do the same thing over again. Take the powder. We're just gonna do one and a half of these half teaspoon moments over here. Oh, hot water, bamboo, and a figure eight. Oh, dude, I nailed that. Yo, what? Boom, that's ready. Now, we have our stevia in the raw. Cool, <laughs> I like that name. And we have our pure vanilla powder, Madagascar bourbon, excuse me? And we're just gonna do a, a packet of this because I don't have a one four tablespoon and I don't feel like measuring it out. But we're just gonna do maybe a half a pack of this. No, that looks like, that looks like a good amount. Like a, like a thing, like a thing, like a thing of stevia, okay? And then we're gonna do a little dusting of vanilla bean powder. That was a little bit more than a dusting, huh? And we're just gonna whisk it together in the hot pan. <gasps> it's so frothy. <sighs> okay, so now look how frothy this is. Oh, <laughs> so happy. Okay, we're gonna put the froth milk into our mixture and we'll mix this all together in our, in our cauldron over here. And we'll take this and we'll just quickly pour it right into that baby and that. <laughs> is our third matcha latte. Oh, I feel like I'm making progress, man. I feel like I'm making progress. <laughs> number uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Number, number cuatro, numero cuatro is date me, I'm single AF matcha latte. You know why I called it that? <laughs> because there's dates in it <laughs> and I'm really single. Well, there was, uh, well, yeah, no, I'm very single. So we're gonna need two pitted dates one teaspoon of almond butter and oat milk. So we're gonna simmer one cup of oat milk. Let me follow my directions that I personally wrote. Oat milk, my favorite milk. <laughs> one cup of Rooney of oat milk, huh? Coming right up. Simmer. All right. <laughs> Prepare matcha with water. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. We've done that. We've done that a couple times now. I can totally do it again. Bowl. Matcha. Half a tablespoon. Half a teaspoon. <laughs> Why can't I get that right? Half a tablespoon. <laughs> a tablespoon. A teaspoon. And then another half a half of a tablespoon. It's a fucking teaspoon, Brad. Not a tablespoon. Water. Warm water. Bamboo whisk that I don't know how it's made. Yee. Oh, and this one 
has a blender moment. So we're gonna break out the blender. This blender is really large. We'll put it right here. Okay, <laughs> I haven't used this in ages, so hopefully like it all just doesn't splat out everywhere. I have white ceilings, white countertops, everything's white. Wish me luck, man. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two pitted dates. I love dates, okay? I have these little Whole Foods pitted dates. We're gonna add our oat milk into the blender. Am I gonna melt this thing? I don't know, whatever. Matcha. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of almond butter. I can do that, I can do that. Dude, if this isn't the creamiest, most delicious thing ever, I don't know what it's gonna be. Am I really gonna make this every morning? Like, I don't think so. Oh, you're kidding me, you're kidding me. No, you're actually joking with this. Let me just do a little bit more. Oops, okay, that was enough. That was way too much, all right. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, hope for the best here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put, we're gonna do low power, ready? This looks so good. <gasps> oh my lord. All right, and there she is. She's about to be poured out and that will be our fourth. Oh my God, it smells amazing, dude. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Yo, it is so frothy and it smells like wild, like amazing. Oh my God. Number five, we're almost to the end guys. <laughs> All right, so we got our last and final latte, which is relax me, but also give me energy matcha latte. Because you know why? Can you guess why? Because this one has lavender in it, which is supposed to be relaxing, but also matcha latte gives you energy. Hence why it's called relax me, but give me energy matcha latte. In order to make this, you will need one tablespoon of lavender simple syrup. You can either buy it or you can make it. I made it, I'll tell you how to make it in a second, and almond milk and matcha, and that's all. It's a pretty simple formula, you know? Let's first bring the almond milk to a simmer. One cup of almond milk, and that's it. Boom, bang, boom, bang. And once again, our last and final time, let's prepare the matcha in the bowl. Bowl, matcha, half a, te half a teaspoon, half a half a teaspoon. Cover on matcha container. Matcha container goes over here. I get hot water. I pour hot water into matcha bowl container. I then bamboo thing, figure eights. Boom, 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 bang, 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 bang. We're almost at a simmer over here and we're almost ready to combine the two. This is really exciting. I've officially lost it also. So that's also really exciting. It's the last time I'm gonna have to do that today. Okay, let's take this off the stove. It's at a simmer. We're ready to combine our almond milk with our matcha and we can put this in the sun because we're done with it for today. <laughs> Oh, we made it. Woo, okay, let's blend this all together. Give it a little froth. And now let's add one tablespoon of lavender simple syrup, which all you gotta do, bring a half a cup of sugar and also a half a cup of water combined with a tablespoon of dried lavender. Bring that all to a simmer. Quickly take it off the stove once it's simmering. Strain that shit out, cool it down, and you got lavender simple syrup. Hey, <laughs> woo, I didn't actually make it, my assistant did, but thank you. My Asia, I appreciate it. And then we mix it all together and that is our last and final matcha latte. And let's pour this into a cup. Doesn't smell like lavender. That's number five. I made all five matcha lattes. I did it, I did it. Okay. And now it's time for the taste test portion of the show. I'm glad you made it this far. Thank you, babe. Oh, and hi, beautiful. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video and I'm so sorry. I get so distracted and I'm like, I forgot to say hi to the beautiful person watching this program. You look amazing. Thank you for being here. Let's test some matcha lattes now, shall we? All right, we have Brad Mondo's wild matcha latte. I wonder what this tastes like. I might have it every day of my life, but I still can't remember what it tastes like. 
Mmm, wow, tastes just like my mornings. It's very good and very easy to make. Let's keep taste testing. <laughs> we have next, number two, coconut matcha me crazy latte. This one has coconut milk, macadamia milk, maple syrup, and matcha powder. Duh. Oh, it smells real good, man. It smells really, really good. Mm. See, the... Mm. Okay, you would like this one if you like a more watery consistency. No, listen, it's very good. It's just very coconutty. If you love coconut, maybe this is your girl, but I'm not really totally a fan of it. It's a little bit too sweet for me, all right? But still very good. Guys, I'm sure all of these are gonna be amazing. However, they might not be my taste. They may be yours. Keep that in mind here, okay? So now we're gonna try number three, which is called You Vanilla Matcha Latte. This one is cashew milk, vanilla bean powder, and stevia. It's gonna be mad sweet, okay? Smells mad good though. Okay, so remember before when I just said that I'm sure all of these are gonna taste so good and they're gonna be so great? Do me a favor. Don't ever do that one. It tastes like actual piss and matcha mixed together. That is revolting. And I'm so sorry to the person who came up with that recipe, but it tastes like really bad piss, not even good piss, like bad kind. You know what I mean? I have nothing more to say about that besides it tastes dreadful and I never want that to hit my lips or my tongue ever again. Okay, moving on to the next one that actually looked the best when I was making it and I was most excited about this one, which is Date Me, I'm Single AF Matcha Latte because it has dates in it, get it? <laughs> Let's taste this one. This one I had to blend together, remember? That was interesting. I've never done that for matcha latte before, but I'm excited to try it and it smells like peanut butter. We just went from an offensively bad matcha latte to an actual goddess of a matcha latte. Like if you could put 2010 Gaga into a drink and drink it, it would be this. It is so extra, it is so cute, it performs so well, and it just tastes, oh my God, amazing. You get almond butter taste with those dates, with that oat milk, dude, it is like Wow, I'm gonna have another sip of this, oh my God. Yo, that's ridiculous. And that's on period love. Okay, moving on from that one, we have relax me, but also give me energy matcha latte. This one looks kind of good. It has maple syrup and lavender in it. Seems kind of boring, but okay. That one was more offensive to my taste buds than number three was. That was so rude. It tasted like water and bad omens. Whatever the hell that word means. That was disgusting, awful, vulgar, gross, awful, disgusting, vulgar, off, and gross. It was disgusting. Never make that or this one. I, terrible. And listen, all right, well, I guess you guys know which ones I like the best. It was one, two, and four. And guess which one was the ultimate best matcha latte? It was number four. Dude, it was incredible. The, oh my God, those dates with that almond butter. Nothing, I don't know if I'll ever taste anything as good as that, but uh, there's no way of making that every morning. There's not, there's no way. In a blender? Do I look like that type of person to you? Really good though. I'm gonna keep drinking this. Holy Moly. It's like a dessert. Whoa! Thank you guys for joining me in my kitchen today. We made some really great matcha lattes. We made some really terrible matcha lattes. I'm feeling energized again from those matcha lattes. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. And hopefully you guys will maybe feel inspired to go and have some matcha latte. It's really good. And by the way, if you go to a place like Starbucks <clears throat> and you ask for a matcha latte, don't. It's not good, it's not good. Please go to a little hole in the wall place or a mom and pop coffee shop and they will make you a great matcha latte. Do not go to Starbucks or any chains to get a matcha latte made. They will literally put powder and shake it with almond milk. It doesn't taste right, okay? And it's all chunky powder. That's all I wanna say because I don't want you coming for me when you say, Brad, I tried the matcha latte and it tastes like
and bought it from Starbucks. Like, no, you make your own matcha latte or you go to a little mom and pop place and you buy it, okay? All right, you guys, <laughs> that is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias like Instagram, like Twitter, and like TikTok at BradMondoNYC. And also follow my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair. It's linked below. And purchase some products, you know, if you want your hair all glowing and fabulous and beautiful <laughs> like mine. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your damn extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, no, I can't reach. <laughs> Bye.